Hello, I'm Pat Summerall, and welcome to Champions of Industry. In conjunction with the EducationStation.com, Champions of Industry is proud to present Spotlight on Education. Today, I'll introduce you to the people, institutions, and organizations that are making a positive impact upon the field of education. Today's episode will begin in Nebraska, where we'll visit a community college whose diverse programs offer something for everyone, so that everyone can succeed. Next, we're off to North Carolina to profile a school district and the very unique relationship that exists between it and the surrounding community. Then we'll tour a college in Georgia where students are getting more than an education. They're also learning that they can go anywhere and do anything. And we'll stay in Georgia for our final champion, a technical college that maintains positive relationships with local businesses and offers students the latest in workforce technology. Our spotlight on education first focuses on colleges in rural America. Many of these institutions face geographic and financial challenges of educating students with limited resources. However, one college in the Midwest is facing these challenges head on with creativity. That college is Western Nebraska Community College. Let's spend the next few minutes on its campus and see how its diverse programs offer something for everyone so that everyone can succeed. Founded in 1926, Western Nebraska Community College educates a diverse population on three campuses in Scottsbluff, Alliance, and Sydney, Nebraska. WNCC offers 57 different areas of study. Students can earn two-year degrees as well as transfer their credits to four-year universities. WNCC also has vocational technical programs and industry training for people already in the workforce. WNCC applied programs include the specialized area of aviation, and airframe maintenance at its Sydney campus. This 21-month hands-on program is approved by the FAA and helps students gain entry into a high-demand field of expertise. Meeting a high demand in the healthcare industry is WNCC's Health Information Management Services program. In it, students may earn a diploma or associate of applied sciences degree. These open the doors to entry-level positions in the health information field, such as medical transcription or coding. With a diploma from WNCC, students can take advantage of another growing demand in the healthcare industry as a licensed practical nurse. Through its Center for Business and Individual Training, WNCC offers customized training and workforce development in partnership with various corporations and other organizations. Classes include computer, technical, and business-related skills for both students and those already in the workforce. We partner with our local organizations and businesses such as Cabela's to provide resources to their employees, to provide access of education to their employees, and to join forces so that we actually have additional resources from both the college and the individual organization. I think at the top of the list is partnerships, partnerships with college, other colleges and universities, partnerships with business and industry, partnerships with the public schools, partnerships with, with organizations outside of the state of Nebraska like Quickstar, the University of Chicago Hospital. We reach way beyond our own borders to bring the creativity here so that we can meet the needs of our clients. Technology plays a big role in education at WNCC. We pride ourselves in staying on the cutting edge with our technology and with the materials and the equipment that we have our students working on in the classroom and also uh, in other areas of campus with regard to student activities and services and programs that we provide them as well. Part of that technology is WNCC's distance learning. This teleclass system reaches into the community when the community can't come to the campus. Instructors can teach up to three different places at one time, whether it is between the three campuses or the various high schools in the region. The system also allows instructors and their students to interact. To supplement classroom lessons, the library services and instructional assistance lab are one-stop learning centers to help students succeed. 
Students can receive tutoring in math, writing, reading, ESL, or aid in earning their GED. In cooperation with WNCC, the Guadalupe Center, the hub of the Hispanic community in Scotts Bluff, is another place where students can receive instruction. Here, Hispanic students have access to a computer lab and are tutored in ESL and basic adult education. Extracurricular opportunities abound at WNCC. Whether it's in the arts or in sports, WNCC students excel. WNCC's athletic programs feature men's and women's basketball and soccer, women's volleyball and softball, and men's baseball. The women's basketball team ranks number two in the nation for community college teams. WNCC's music program gives students the opportunity to earn an associate's degree in music, as well as the chance to participate in numerous bands and ensembles. These include the Western Nebraska Winds, Western Nebraska Chamber Players, Studio Band, and three jazz bands. In the past, students have earned chairs in the National Association Small College Honor Band and the Nebraska Intercollegiate Band. Vocal students will find plenty of opportunities to sing at WNCC. Well, we have a full menu of vocal classes, including a concert choir. Our concert choir is called Collegiate Chorale, and it is open to all students without audition. Then we have some select small ensembles. We have a show choir and a chamber ensemble. We also have voice lessons, and then we offer academic classes in music also, including humanities and theory. Whether it's degrees or transfer credits in the arts or sciences, vocational programs, or training for professionals, Western Nebraska Community College has something for everyone. To find out more about Western Nebraska Community College, give it a call or visit it on the web at wncc.net. Thanks to the educational opportunities of Western Nebraska Community College, students, young and old alike, can expand their horizons. It's not only a place where they can take their first step in higher education, but also a place where lifelong learning begins. And now we leave Nebraska behind for North Carolina. The Guilford County School District encompasses the cities of Greensboro and High Point. It educates approximately 65,000 students across 102 schools. Providing an extraordinary education for every student is a daunting task. But Guilford County has found a way. So let's learn how. In November of 2000, several foundations in Guilford County commissioned a report to examine the economic well-being of the community. Action Greensboro is a result of those findings. Our whole effort was to bring more jobs here and to get higher paying jobs and we realized that education is the most important component of that and the business leaders that we have who have helped us with this effort were committed to working with Dr. Greer, the superintendent of schools, on programs that he and the principals really wanted. The community has been very supportive of education uh, during the last two and a half years. Uh, they've had a long history of that support, but it seems to have come together and galvanized in the last two years. We have had business and foundations come together to raise five million dollars and commit that to educational programs that go a little above and beyond your traditional funding sources. To help deliver a superior education to all students, Guilford County's business community instituted a variety of programs that aid teachers and improve schools. We could spend five days talking about the wonderful partnerships that exist and the exciting different out-of-the-box things that we're doing in our school district that we would not be able to do without the kind of foundation and business support that we have. Uh, it's just a, a privilege and an honor to be associated with, with such caring, wonderful, professional people. Uh, it's something that every community in America ought to emulate and learn from. Guilford County has several specialty schools in addition to its traditional elementary, middle, and high schools. One example is a new concept called Early College High School. The ninth and 10th graders take high school courses separate from the college students, and then the 11th and 12th graders um, take 
college courses with the college students taught by professors and it goes for college and high school credit. The students say that it's, it's good for them because they're in an environment where they are with intellectual peers. Um, they have some exposure to what college life is like. One of the goals of our school is to provide a seamless transition to higher education, and we think being on a college campus gives us the opportunity to, to accomplish that particular goal. Like many innovative schools provided by Guilford County, early college is funded by a public-private partnership. There is no additional cost for parents. It's really great to be a part of such a community that has a lot of school spirit and is involved with many things. Uh, we have some of the best teachers here. Not teachers who just want to teach you the information, but teachers who want to teach you about life. One reason for Guilford County's success is it strives to attract the best teachers and helps them do the best job possible, even encouraging continuing education courses. Oh, it's wonderful. It shows me that uh, the business community has an understanding that in order to be a good educator, you have to be a continual learner. Uh, that's one of the things I stress to my faculty, that lifelong learning is important. Teachers in Guilford County are given special banking options as well as discounts on certain apartments and automobiles provided by the local business community. Other incentive programs include a new car presented to the district's Teacher of the Year. I would like for you to put in the grass of your picture 24 dog bones. When the superintendent, Dr. Greer, took all of the finalists out to a lovely lunch, and he said, we were all female, and he said, ladies, we need you to start picking out cars. And we all about fell out of our chair. We were, yeah, right, you know. And um, he called right after I went and said, Miss Sleeper, you need to take the afternoon and go pick out your car right now. And I got to pick out the make, model, everything. Unbelievable. The Guilford County School District works with employees to improve its already successful system. With help from the locally based Center for Creative Leadership, Guilford encourages teachers and support staff to become improved leaders. If we have better leaders within the school system, uh, it can take some of the heat off some of the other things that the um, principals have to do. It would help this achievement in the school system here at Andrews by um, giving people more confidence in their abilities to um, break out of the mold a little bit more. If you'd like more information about the Guilford County School District, please visit its website at guilford.k12.nc.us. We believe in caring about our employees here. That's number one, and making sure that they, they have a good life. And you can have that here in Guilford County. This is, this is the place to be if you want to be a teacher. As you can see, Guilford County is a community that truly cares not only about the future of its children, but also about those who are teaching them today. By teaming together, Guilford County and the Guilford County School District are providing its children with an exceptional educational experience. Exceptional education, along with valuable life experience and mentoring, is what students can expect at Payne College in Augusta, Georgia. At Payne, the motto is, you can get there from here. Let's visit the campus and see how students are getting more than an education. They're also learning that they can go anywhere and do anything. Payne College is a very special, historically black college in Augusta, Georgia. It was established by the partnership of a white denomination and a black denomination to train slaves and former slaves to become teachers and preachers. This fine liberal arts school offers 26 majors. It has a rich tradition of academic excellence and social responsibility. The Payne College students are really the best students any president could ever hope to meet. They are friendly, they are courteous, they want to achieve. Payne College's religious roots and the United Methodist and Christian Methodist Episcopal churches that founded it are evident. Basic Christian beliefs are put into action every day here. We take great pride in letting our students know 
that as a church-related college, we have certain kinds of expectations. Those expectations pertain to leadership, to good moral behavior, and to friendship. Not all 900 students are Christian, but all conform to the school's morals and ethics. Payne teaches character and social responsibility, as well as the arts and sciences. I feel like during the 36 years that I worked as an educator, I feel that I was very effective as a result of the mentors that I had as a student at Payne College. On this campus, there is a sense of family and community. Students learn to dream big dreams, set serious goals, and achieve them. They have a sense that they can go anywhere and do anything. That's why the college's motto is, you can get there from here. It means that the sky is the limit. With your own motivation and paying college, you can reach for whatever goal that you desire, and you can obtain it, and you can be great at it. Leaving Payne College, I feel, wherever I need to go in the world, whatever profession I go into, that I'm well equipped and well prepared to get there from here. Whatever I hope to achieve in life, um, I know that I can get that from here at Payne College. They are so positive because they are treasured and nurtured here. The low teacher-student ratio allows each student to receive individual attention. The president, asks, she knows my name, she calls me by name. And I mean, that just feels really good when the president knows you, the deans know you, and the teachers, they are actually trying to help, help me succeed. Mentoring and special programs set Payne College apart. Payne's study abroad program has taken students all over the globe. Students travel to conferences throughout America and are exposed to an array of opportunities in the community and the classroom every day. I tell my students that if they come to Payne College, they will not only receive a quality education, but they will also receive an education that will give them a fighting edge in today's global market. As a private institution, Payne College is challenged to raise funds from sources other than tuition. It receives generous financial gifts from alumni, churches, foundations, and community organizations. We have many more students who could benefit from scholarship aid if there were more funding available. And we are very grateful that we do have Pell, SEOG, and our wonderful alumni and friends who care about pain and who know that if you provide the support, if you open the door, our students will step to the plate and achieve. An overwhelming majority of the student body qualifies for academic scholarships. But only 356 of the 700 who are qualified are receiving them. We are desperately searching ways to increase our funding base so that we can help these promising students reach their goals. Payne is attempting to increase its endowment to provide more scholarships, raise salaries, build needed facilities, and maintain a beautiful campus. Anyone interested in contributing can support Payne by visiting its website at pain.edu or calling 706-821-8230. Your gift will be put to good use immediately. The expression, you can get there from here, means that if you come to Payne College and you accept the leadership mandate that we toss to you, you can have the career of your choice, you can attend any graduate school in the country, you may go all around the world, you will make friends, you will be a success, you can get there from here. Payne College has a rich tradition of providing the best education imaginable since the end of slavery. Molding students to make a contribution both in their careers and their lives, mentoring them and helping them reach for the stars makes Payne College an educational leader. Another educational leader in the state of Georgia is West Central Technical College. Spotlight on Education will find out more about this leader right after this short break.
Want to learn more? Visit theeducationstation.com. Welcome back to Champions of Industry Spotlight on Education. It's been said that by the year 2015, knowledge will change every 72 days. West Central Technical College is already preparing its students for this ever-changing world. As an instrument of economic development, West Central Technical College serves its community well. Let's pay it a visit and see how it maintains positive relationships with local businesses and also offers the latest in workforce technology. West Central Technical College offers the latest career technologies and a wealth of opportunities to prepare you for your future. West Central has locations in Carroll, Coweta, Douglas, and Harrelson counties in Georgia. West Central Technical College is also one of 34 technical colleges in Georgia. Our expansion into a four county service area, which is a little unique in that we do have a, an operation and a facility at all four counties, has been directly the result of industry needs and of us being there first and foremost as a partner for industry. And that's what we do. That's what we want to do. In order to continually serve the needs of its community, West Central Technical has developed ongoing positive relationships with major businesses and industry leaders. With the help of Synchronet Incorporated and the local government, a vast telecommunications infrastructure was created for West Central. Our relationship was structured to support um, health care, education, and economic development. And this has afforded us the opportunity to not only build a private telecommunication infrastructure for West Central, but also for the, all of the hospitals in the West Georgia area, and optically connect these private networks together. And that's, uh, that's amazing and really unheard of in rural Georgia. And what advantages does this telecommunications infrastructure offer the students and community? Well, students at the West Central Technical College now have the ability to real-time interact with subject matter experts um, in the healthcare arena, in the educational arena, and in the economic arena. Medical students find this educational tool particularly helpful in gaining valuable experience. Now they're able to real-time participate in surgeries through some video conference links that we've established between West Central's private fiber optic ring and the hospital's private fiber optic ring in, in the West Georgia area. They can participate in surgeries, interact with subject matter experts in the ICU wards. It's just amazing. That kind of technology has not existed in rural Georgia before. West Central's technology-driven learning environment is key to helping the local economy develop a properly trained workforce. We're one of the largest employers in the region with about 1,800 employees. And with, uh, as, as we are looking to fill our needs and, and, and find the right nurses and find the technicians for our jobs, many times in the past we would have to go out of town, have to bring people in from, from Atlanta and other areas. And with uh, the supply of technicians and nurses, uh, future nurses from West Central, we can fill our needs right here locally. I think the community benefited in many ways. Um, first and foremost, when um, that technician or that nurse comes out of school, uh, you know, comes out of the, the program here many times from this area, instead of having to go to Atlanta or some other region to get a job, hopefully due to the growth and uh, um, the prosperity of the Tanner system, they can get a job right here locally at one of our three hospitals. And I think that's a win for the community because um, we are trying to, any way we can, keep, keep our talented young people here locally and um, when they're able to come out of school and get a job locally and stay uh, stay here and keep their, if you will, their money here locally, that really impacts economic development. One program that has a definite impact is Quick Start. This program helps provide new or expanding industries with a trained workforce the day it is needed. West Central Technical College has played a vital role in this area in terms of economic development. Uh, last year's graduates alone put $134 million back into the local economy. Uh, we started in 1968 with 11 programs and uh, uh, about 100 students, and today with four locations and over 4,000 credit students and 4,000 continuing ed students, we continue to play an extremely important role in workforce development and recruitment and retention. 
Programs at West Central offer students hands-on experience using the latest technology. From fiber optic systems training to AutoCAD software use, West Central Technical College understands the importance of preparing its students for the future. Well, post-secondary training is absolutely vital for the years to come and in today's economy. Uh, our students are going to face extremely complicated technologies in the business and industry world, and our mission is to prepare them and make them ready for that. For more information about West Central Technical College, call 770-537-6000 or log on to westcentraltech.edu. As you can see, West Central Technical College truly does respond to industry needs. It does so by preparing its students with the latest technical know-how and by nurturing positive relationships with local businesses. As a result, it's making a lasting impact on Georgia's economy. Well, we've reached the end of this episode, but here's a preview of what you can expect next time on Champions of Industry where we'll once again shine a spotlight on education. We'll begin in California, where we'll visit a university that, in the spirit of President John F. Kennedy, is making education accessible to everyone. Next, we'll profile a public school system in Virginia, whose single-minded mission is to provide a quality education for the children, the community, and the future. Then we'll learn about a college in Kentucky that serves as a light unto the mountains and has touched the lives of countless Appalachians. And finally, we'll tour a technical college in Pennsylvania that provides a high quality and fun education in automotive technology. Thank you for joining me this morning. I hope you've enjoyed meeting some of the leaders who are making a difference in the field of education. For more information about these champions, please visit theeducationstation.com. It's the Internet's new leading provider of information for educators, students, and parents about schools, colleges, and universities. Until next time, this is Pat Summerall saying, take care. The previous program was paid for by Pat Summerall Productions. The proceeding was a paid program which has not been produced by and is not affiliated in any way with Discovery Communications Incorporated. Claims made and opinions expressed in the program are those of the program's producer who is solely responsible for the content of the program.